Hey everybody, welcome back to the seventh episode of our 1.14 Skyblock series. Right now I'm having really trouble keeping up with what's happening on the server. And you have to keep in mind this was just started as a project for, for the Patreons, so we can play this. It's not really a designated YouTube series, we have control over all the content, so I just can try to keep up and, and give you a progress updates of what we're doing. This is a current project, the tree farm. As you might already see, we got observers and comparators now because we got another warning trader with a lava trade. So we were able to go to the nether, we're going to check this out later. Now we can also finally finish this tree farm. I already uh, yeah, considered earlier, yesterday actually, or redesigning it in a way that it doesn't need any quartz uh, blocks like observers or comparators. But no, that's also not, yeah, that's obsolete now. Now we can build the normal version. We got a tutorial video uh, about. So the only thing left to do is pretty much put in the TNT duper. I think Methods is watching my tutorial right now. And that gives us some time maybe to go to the nether real quick and check out what's there. All right, now we're finally in the nether and we can also now finally get obsidian so we can make an ender chest soon. This is pretty awesome. <laughs> Gonna try that soon. And here's our nether hub. <laughs> well, we can call it that. Uh, we already got connections to I would assume this is gonna be a project site for mushroom farm. What's that? Is somebody farming gold there? Looks like it. So I haven't seen this myself yet. This is the first time I'm in the nether. Right, seems like some kind of a manual farm. Uh, I think we also got a nether fortress farm. I wanna check that out real quick. So this was of course interesting to get um, blaze powder as quickly as possible and blaze rods. So we can technically now make a brewing system. We can also now make Eyes of Ender, so we can go to the end dimension. Uh, we're now definitely out of the early game, the mid game. Now it's just about yeah, building some standard starter farms, and then later in the series uh, we can uh, build yeah, more sophisticated farms, I would assume. Alright, so let's check it out. We also already got some uh, gas tears, which we smelted into the quartz, which we needed for the tree farm. Alright, so let's see what we got up there. Probably another walkway to the fortress farm. So I'm gonna quickly go there. Also, we don't have Optifine yet for 1.14. That means the nether fog is not removed. It's quite scary, actually. Okay, they're already shooting at me here. Yeah, this is our fortress farm, at least for now. I don't think I'm actually equipped <laughs> to survive a battle. Uh, so should I go in there? I don't know, or I got wizard. Oh, this would be sweet if we would get some magma cream for magma blocks. I definitely need to keep an eye on my health bar here. Yeah, definitely not equipped <laughs> for an honest fight. Let's take out some of those. I really want to get some magma cream. So can we get that? Alright, I think I'm gonna retreat. This farm is definitely a manual one at this point, but yeah, it's nice to get started. Right, I'm gonna definitely build a dedicated magma cream farm later so we can, can finally get the magma blocks. It should work. Okay. Well, we, we still need to add the block to limit the tree growth. It's as well. Do you remember how it works? <laughs> No, but I'm watching your tutorial, so okay. in a sec I'm gonna scroll back to that part and also place that. Oh shit, we might actually need that ender chest, do we? What was that for again? Because otherwise the TNT could land on the obsidian. Oh yeah. Mm, I think we have enough. Though. Yeah, but we have infinite Got enough obsidian, obsidian so. yeah. Just an ender eye though. Yeah, we have 14 place powder and okay. <laughs> a few. Uh, this is this here built correctly? It looks correct. Okay. I mean, the TNT duper is built correct. If the rest of the farm was built correct, it should work. Yeah. Then. Can you give me a second? Who, who built it? <laughs> I have one. Can I just try to get one? What? Saplings. I have plenty. Yep, yeah, got some. Oh, 
Nee. Did we ever test it in 1.14? I don't know, I didn't. What are we doing? Oh, wait. That's not even using a coral, the stupor! That's not good. Yeah, that duper is definitely not gonna work. Wait, who built it? I built it after your tutorial. I did not I definitely put it in the coral. Oh, yeah, two different versions. Yeah, the 1.13 version. I built the 112 one. <laughs> Luckily, we didn't try it, though. That would have failed. Yeah. yeah. I was like, why do I still have the coral? I hope but all the repeated delays are correct. But yeah, I didn't check any of that. I only built the TNT duper, so replaced the droppers. Wait, one sec. One sec, one sec, one sec, one sec. Already failed. <laughs> have to remove yeah. the tree. I didn't push it together. Okay, that repeater is on four. At least it didn't blow up. <laughs> no, that's... Still a log. Do we have to remove the leaves as well? I don't remember. Don't think so. Maybe. Let, let's just remove them. Mm. Safe is safe, right? Yep. Yay! <laughs> Leave mining again. Back to day one. Mm. It's an emotional roller coaster. All the people watching that stupid endgame movie, I was on an emotional roller coaster watching this. <laughs> it's like, what the <laughs> fuck, man? Okay, TNT dude, and bad luck of timing wise. Tree, tree farm still exists. Success. Okay, then let's try a few more. Tree farm still exists. Seems good. So we got a tree farm. Zero locks in the output? Oh yeah, the thing is still filling up. Yeah, yeah, like 41 or so. 21. Cool. Oh, a lock remained, but it doesn't matter. That, that's can happen. Yeah, that can happen. Do we do it? Should I go to the villagers? Does only one person get the bad omen? Only the guy that kills the banners do the thing. Sure. See, do I actually need the bat to start it? Nope, right here one. comes the raid. Might spawn in a 5x5 five five of this year, so come oh. here and be, uh, be ready to defend oh, yeah, our the villagers. The I don't have a bow. Yeah. Uh, I've got a spare shit though. Yep, there they are. <laughs> Lol. Uh oh. <laughs> they spawn in the spawn platform. Luckily, they're completely bugged out. I'm not even getting a tank, man. Oh no, once. No, I think it was someone of us. It was toast. Yes. Just so you hear, they're probably gonna spawn right here again. They Just always spawn in the same spot. The... Uh, yeah. See if they pick up the banner and they get another banner. Uh, did someone still want a bow? Ah, <laughs> 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 because there's a grass block! Are you sure? Just... <laughs> it doesn't depend on a grass, though. Really? No. Mango, it's really not your day pushing off those illagers, right? Do we need them? <laughs> well, one emerald, I mean we have to trade yeah. for, for at least 0 0.4 seconds now to get that. <laughs> That's rageable. <laughs> Did the red stop? No, there's seven waves, no. man. It's just, uh, yeah, the, the raid bar just disappears when you... Yeah, I think the ravager already fell down. down. <laughs> Should we try to capture one, maybe? Ooh, cool. But the can't... farm would actually be good, yeah. You can't ride them, right? No, but uh, for another no. farm. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, we could also just make a oh, server now, now. Yeah. made a proper nano farm. Mm -hmm. Ravager no, actually I think the, the Ravager longer. one is way more cool than here yeah, than the dispenser one. It's uh, the yeah. piston one. Yeah. Also with the leg, I mean, <laughs> the Ravager <laughs> one is actually <laughs> worth. <laughs> That's Maybe the problem can... when they spawn in the same spot. <laughs> they just push each other out. It's just a classic mojo. Bye bye. So try and lure the Ravager out if he doesn't get pushed down by the other guys. 
would I actually want to catch him? Leg free none of okay. them. Okay. They always get pushed out, I mean. Well, maybe we luck out. I mean, a bit random who pushed soon. Also, See? great. There it is. Always yeah. get pushed out. No! I no! just said don't <laughs> kill it! <laughs> Jeez. Can you, can you use a lead on it, or how, how can we capture it? Uh, good. Do we have a name tag even? Yeah. Oh no! no. It's kinda hard. Don't Somebody needs to shoot out the other guy off. It's kinda hard to hit him from the sword. Position. Okay. He <laughs> 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 <I> just hit <laughs> you. <laughs> also broke the armor. Me, no. <laughs> so, will we always have the ra raiders remaining one then if you don't. Uh, kill it. I don't know, if you move it out, maybe it works. Yeah. Here, lure it, lure it over to the slime blocks, we trap it here in this little thing. You lure it over. Okay, okay it's trapped. Uh, yeah, but we have to lure it out now. <laughs> Crap. Or, you know, we break all workstations and fuck our villager set up. That could also work. I think the raid ended for me. Wait. No? No. Just outside of the uh. range. Come over here, it's the red mob's remaining one. Okay, how do we do that now? Hmm. Could fly him out, I guess. <laughs> or does he still count it if we remove Can you put him? it in the minecart? Yeah. Well. But we need the rails for it. You won't move him if he's in the minecart because the hitbox hmm. or the collision box or whatever it is. Oh, is really the same issue with the striker. No, yeah, a little bit. Hmm. Not that you couldn't push the minecart, but like his his feet look through the ground in the minecart. Oh. <laughs> because, you know, implements a new mob never tested if you can actually move it in the minecart or not. Can you put it in a boat? You can just... No. No. Uh, yeah. How do we do this now? Will it despawn? Uh, yeah. So Let me at get least get a name tag. Defeat. Great defeat. Yeah. Easy. Why is the bastard there though? <laughs> no, it's gone. No, no. It's here, just outside of the. Oh, there's still a workstation here. There's already defeat. No, there now it's go. gone. Now it's gone. Yep. Okay, then let me just add all of them back. Unfortunately, we also have to do some lag improvements. So as you can see, we are playing Skyblock here. Not much is going on. We don't have yeah, really much in this world. But yeah, we're already lagging. So it only runs at 15 TPS. And one of the things we can definitely improve is remove the old mob farms here. This one and that one. There's always a ton of mobs in there. You can peek in. And so many bats. So as you can see, the mob caps. Uh, there's 90 bats around us somehow. They're probably all in there. So if you remove that, it should already help quite a bit. Okay, this will be quite fun. Need some help efforts taking it down? Mm, I'm just gonna open some holes and wait for the next morning. I mean, there's like 183 <laughs> mobs in there, <laughs> so... so suggesting 500 them. ticks. Everyone, please leave the server. Smart decision making. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how could how could bad it could be? I mean, it's just you guys should all log. Yeah. yeah log. How bad could it be? Yeah, I mean, you want to lose your diamond gear third time today? <laughs> so bad it could be. The first two time weren't my fault. Come on. Oh, fell in there. <laughs> yeah, oh god, oh, yeah, god. Yeah. I think I'm gonna lose it already. <laughs> <laughs> that was okay. smart. It blew them up. Oh no! Can somebody help me? Maybe. All right, you get to relog. All right. all right. We get anything. Wait, is uh, there, there we go. Point uh, to I lost my in? stuff. Cause oh, yeah. Ta is AFK. <laughs> uh, one. <laughs> no it lowers it. It <laughs> lowers it. <laughs> Literally 15 <laughs> seconds, bro. Actually, if all of us was in the middle, it would. Classic Il Mango. It would no, it would be the same as everyone logging off. <laughs> what Did could potentially go again? wrong? Would it be the same as everyone? No, I, I guess if Ta is AFK, then it would trace it if you were in the middle. Actually, but it's so sure, cheap now to get armor. One... I mean, one emerald for one diamond helmet. I mean, I don't know. 
I was mulching sinking there. So I bought a full, full set. I bought a full set for eleven emeralds. <laughs> GG. Really? Yeah. yeah. How do you? It's based on the player as well. I mean, for oh, me, it's yeah. seventeen for Mango by now because he bought even more. It's eleven. I mean, I get. I also lost more. Come on. Yeah, I get sick touch books for my one emerald, so. Well, for yeah. Regu, it's like actually 16. It yeah, it costed a lot. No, for me. no, Regu buys mending books for 16, I buy them for 4. Yeah, yeah because he hit them so... all the time. That makes but... a cheap reward. Can no, they, didn't, they remembered it. Yeah. No, it Regu sense. didn't hit them. He just yeah, didn't trade did. them. No, I don't get cheap trades. I saw trades. you hitting the villager. You no, don't get cheap trades from hitting them. No, you get more expensive. For yeah, them. penalty for it. What... That's why I yeah. pay so much. You're both you're agreeing with. I me. pay less mango than Regu. Yeah, I keep hitting them. Yeah. He's just yeah. going insane. That's I how think. discounts work. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's how discounts work. How do you farm turtles? Anyways, uh, they spawn. Uh, you feed you them don't seagrass. see it. Ah. You, you kill you kill their parents and then they drop seaweed and then you breed the babies of them with the <laughs> remains of their parents and you get more <laughs> turtles. Yeah. Hashtag Mojang logic. I assume you get the seaweed from their stomach. So And when the <laughs> when the baby turtles grow up they oh. drop scoots and you There's can There's a skeleton give you a job. Yeah. How's uh, uh Mango how's Rinderbahn called in <laughs> if, if, You're actually uh... so lucky, Mango, what the fuck? <laughs> I thought he just died again. <laughs> <laughs> how is Rinderman called Jakob. in? Yeah, you're that's how Kreisfeld Jakob syndrome was made as well, you know? They fed cows the remains of freaking sheep brain, I think. Or even what? cow brains. What? What? Okay, I'm gonna get going on removing the... Get going on removing the wandering trailer platform so it doesn't spawn more mobs the next night. Yep, doing it. And don't the old the one, glowstone. I mean, the, the yeah, old one. Yeah, the Y0 yeah. one that is a slam file. I think yeah. we also should make this path wider. Yeah, we can do that afterwards. Kind of would like to also move this path a half a block down so it's really spawn proof. Uh, can we take down the weird, like, old drowned farm that was also a salmon farm? Yeah. The roof is pretty good though. I like that. Whoever did that. What is your complex with like complimenting yourself? I don't know. You should I get think it's just today, yeah. <laughs> it's the it's the prescribed drugs. Yeah. Whoever did that thing I did, that's pretty good. Oh, thanks. <laughs> it's my cluster randomization. Push, pushing it over the top. I've been AFKing here a little bit at the iron farm, but the output isn't too great considering the amount of villages we have there. The server is actually already struggling. Now we got three people on, and when you look at the mob caps, we got zero hostile mobs, we got zero bats, uh, we got fish, and we got 117 villagers. And that's it. And the game is almost lagging. We're already at 40 MSPT or 50. So we definitely want to do something about the iron farm. Also, we found out that the spawn chunks in 1.14 are now 45 by 45 blocks. So in order to get passive mob spawning at some point, we really need to move the iron farm out of the spawn chunks. Since yeah, the uh, villagers and iron golems actually count towards the animal mob cap now. So as you can see, it's filled with 117 villagers and animals of 28, three people online. So we definitely need to relocate everything here. Methods also build up his Ravager Nano Farm, which I find quite funny. And it has the big advantage that it doesn't lag much. So there's no pistons firing, which is uh, awful for a client in 1.14. So this is a really nice farm in my opinion. So did some more testing and we're getting about a stack of iron with this iron farm. Which is really not much considering the amount of villages we have there. And also, if you already look at it, it's definitely not ideal. Uh, what's going on with this farm. So the golems only have one side to spawn at and there's no double layer for spawning. Uh, this is definitely not the best way to build an iron farm. So in the next episode we're gonna go to a creative world and do really some extensive testing and come up with a proper farm.
But that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye bye.